Hey Tyler, are you on? Hi, hi, Isaac. Hey. Hi. I have no idea why I'm Tyler today and not Arthur today, but it says it's recording, so <laughs> that's the main thing. Maya, I haven't, uh, I haven't talked to you in forever. Yeah, uh, we're kind of <clears throat> working uh, very hard in our small relatively small group at the moment and uh, we have uh, some advancement uh, so like I didn't go anywhere I'm still there steam is still there we are still working we are just less um, engaged uh, let's say in a general calls I heard that you were busy. I was getting occasional updates on other daily calls, um, but it's it's just it's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too. All right, I am just trying to update the daily document. Oh man, it looks like there's been a lot going on on this document. So that's pretty good too. Um, let me zoom out of this, I think. It's always a little difficult to grab the template. Maybe the context. I don't think we need oh, this page with. So I wasn't able to attend uh, the conference earlier this week. How did it go? Did anybody anybody go to it? I didn't. <laughs> well, I'll have I to. I was on it for a bit, but um, it seemed interesting. It was mainly about management styles and stuff like that. I noticed that that was a a key theme in his agenda, the unmanagement thing. I thought that was kind of interesting as a term. But I know I know that's been one of the interesting aspects of this organization is trying to figure out how to coordinate a lot of quickly evolving pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that probably was important to visit. Um, I don't know if we'll have high attendance today. Uh, it's I say I think I posted the link a little bit late, so let's give it maybe a couple more minutes, and then we can just dive in with if if we want, even just with the, the three of us. Sure. I'm looking away from my screen, so if anybody anybody joined in the last couple of minutes that I've been editing the daily doc, then I apologize that I didn't count you. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and get started? Maya, how's, how's it going? <clears throat> oh, goes um, really like uh, slow but nice. Uh, basically, uh, previously uh, we tried to figure out on how to extract uh, risk factor papers <clears throat> and uh, now uh, there has been a major shift so basically Slava and Lukas they are working on infrastructure that uh, will uh, allow to do exactly the same thing and maybe in a more sophisticated way so we slightly changed the direction and we are kind of more working on a uh, uh, relevancy of papers and trying to create a neuronet uh, that will kind of help us uh, to evaluate relevancy and that's what we are busy at the moment. Uh, we are starting to, we are, we are just at the, <clears throat> the stage of gathering the pieces together. Uh, but yeah, basically we, we definitely advance. Great, so what, what is the end goal of the neural net? Why, why this? In, instead of the previous approach, uh, because we want uh, we wanted to have like a real artificial uh, intelligence process that doesn't involve manual annotation. Uh, it's more exciting, uh, so that's why. Okay, great. That does sound very exciting. So I'm looking. Yeah, but and we, we hope to get like uh automated and pretty precise results so that's what we are targeting wonderful do you have any needs right now uh no oh, we are good great okay yeah. i can imagine something like that might require some uh some personnel so if you have enough then that's really good to hear okay isaac um do you have any updates for us for forecasting? Um, so not too much new recently. Um, we did resolve some of our um, issues related to um, some uh, well persisting data, which was good. So we, it's not entirely resolved, but we do have a basic code to persist data on a regular basis. Um, also, yeah, we're just running a lot of experiments right now. So um, I'm beginning to do some analysis um, of that. And yeah, those are the primary things. What, uh, what sort of experiments? So we're testing like how um, the models converge on the mobility data. Um, both with and without um, kind of uh, different architecture. So we're studying like if we use like more more of this specific type of layers, what's their overall test loss versus like if we use a different form of layer or a different learning rate. So we're really looking at how the hyperparameter optimizations affecting the end result. So. Right. Um, well, what, what is, what, can I ask a question? Like, what do you call a hyperparameter? Uh, well, for us, hyperparameters are things like learning rate, batch size, um, the forecast history, so the number of time steps we're uh, passing in of historical values. Um, yeah, mainly stuff like that. Uh, also, like the, some of the dimensions, so like what dimension we're embedding stuff to. Do you work or do you deal at all uh, at all with the methodology of articles or not? Not at all, probably, right? Um, deal with what? Sorry, Meta that. methodology. Methodology. You um, probably don't. Um, what 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 do we use exactly, or what? 
uh, like for do you do you work with data that is from cord set or it's a special set of data? Oh, our data, yeah, our data was like our data is mainly gathered. I um, mean, that's what we were working on with the persistence. So it comes from uh, officially reported cases from a number of different data sources, and that's combined together with uh, weather data data about like people's how people are moving and stuff from apple and other people um, who are monitoring like movement from cell phone data um so yeah that all gets combined together and then we use that to forecast the cases uh -huh. so it has nothing to do with cord basically got it okay yeah. thank you Okay, well, you know, it's just the three of us. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about before we uh, go ahead and adjourn? Um, were there any updates on actually putting that stuff on the website? I know a couple of people contacted me asking me for info. Just wondering if you knew about one that's actually going up. Oh, uh, I have no idea. I'm sorry, what? I have, uh, w what is supposed to go on the website that's not already there? I know they're put, wanting to put up like detailed like profiles of like the different teams and what we're working on and what our deliverables were in order to like make, show like what we're, our progress and what we're working on, I guess. So they sent around a survey to team leads. I was just wondering if you knew when they're going to actually put that up. I do not, but I can probably tell you who to ask if you're interested. Um, slash, I can ask him for you if you want. I see that it doesn't look like that's happened yet. That does seem like a really logical thing to do, though. Um, but that's yeah. okay. So, like web web stuff is usually, unless it's changed, it's usually handled by Rohan Ganachari, um, and he, I assume, is probably working with a few other people, possibly on comms to schedule and, and plan out these changes. Um, so would, would you like me to look into that? Um, not, no, it's fine. I was just wondering if anyone knew about it. I was just kind of interested, but, uh, but yeah. Okay. Um, well, great. I'm looking forward to that happening. I think it's, it's cool to put up front and center, you know, what, what we are doing here. Okay. Um, well, in that case, I think it's fine to keep it a short meeting. I know everybody's busy. So thank you very much for attending and giving your updates. I've posted them on the Daily Doc. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. It was nice Bye. to see you. Nice Bye. to see you, too. Bye.